So today I'll be teaching you guys all about the flash, and I'm sorry if my voice goes in and out. It's still not quite back. But the flash is actually one of my favorite superheroes, and in my opinion, he's one of the most powerful. And I'll explain that later. So the original flash was this man right here. He was the Golden Age Flash that was later remade into the Flash we know today that was named Barry Allen. Um, when the modern Flash Barry Allen was growing up in the comics, he actually read this man's comic books, which was really interesting to me. But he gained his powers because he was a scientist and was experimenting with things called heavy waters and he ingested them somehow, and that gave him super speed. Um, after playing college football, once he got his powers, which is kind of cheating, he fought, went to fight crime and he wore this red shirt with a lightning bolt and a helmet, and the helmet was based off of Mercury, the Roman god. A lot of people think it was Hermes, or, yeah, which was like, the errand boy for Zeus, but it's not. Um, the rival with the reverse flesh was one of his like main enemies. Same with the modern day flesh. It's kind of the flash from a parallel universe for him. Um, he was actually one of the founding members of the Justice Society of America, which was like the old golden age version of the Justice League. And his doppelganger on Earth 2, which the Flash can move so fast that he can actually switch dimensions, giving them an uh, infinite number of Earths, which they just number. And his doppelganger on Earth 2 was also a speedster named Zoom. So the modern day Flash is Barry Allen. He's from Smallville, or Fallville, Iowa. And he actually had a twin brother who the doctor told the parents that the brother was born stillborn, and they took him away and gave him to a family whose baby was actually born, or whose baby was actually stillborn, which is really weird and morbid, but it happened. So his mother was killed, and his father was blamed for the crime. His mother was actually killed by the reverse flash, which if you watch the TV series, that's explained very well in there. Um, like I said before, he read the comics when he was little and actually became a forensic scientist for Central City Police. And he was, his mind was always set on catching the reverse flash to prove his father's innocence, which in the TV series he does. Um, he joined the Justice League. He was actually one of the founding members. And Jay Derrick was a real speedster, and he found that out after. He read the comics and got his powers, and they actually became friends. Or him and Hal Jordan became friends, who is the Green Lantern, or one of the Green Lantern. So this is kind of a list of the powers. He can actually talk at super fast speeds, which only other speedsters can understand, which is very interesting. He can create air pockets to keep from falling from high up and just smashing in the ground because he can't fly. And he actually does this by rotating his arms at a high enough speed to where it creates tornadoes to slow down his fall. And theoretically, he can actually fly like that too, but it takes up too much energy. He can comprehend and read at an incredible pace, like a whole book in like two seconds, which is not that impressive for him. But he vibrates his vocal cords to disguise his voice when he's talking to civilians and people who don't know who he actually is. And he can actually match the frequency of different molecules and go through things. The Kid Flash is his sidekick. He comes in later in the comics, and he's actually Wally West, which is when his father was take when Barry's father was taken off to prison, Wally's dad, Joe West, who was the chief of police, or not the chief of police, he was the chief detective, took Barry in, and this was his lost Joe's lost son who came in. And 
He was actually the second person the Flash told. The first being his wife, Iris, which he would obviously have to tell her, but she was actually the son of Joe West as well, or the daughter of Joe West. So the movie gets that a little wrong, and he tells like 80 people right off the bat, which is a bad idea. And he got his suit from the Flash when the Flash was looking at a um, alien mind matter machine. So he thought of the suit, and it instantly appeared on Wally, who told the Flash that he had powers. And um, the Kid Flash takes Barry Allen's grandson, Bart Allen, as his sidekick or protege. And it was actually pretty interesting to read in the comics because you didn't see it coming because the Bart Allen actually traveled back in time and then became a like modern speedster. And I figure that's all your minds can really take of the Flash. So, six or nine.